Turkey is vowing to retaliate after 33 of its troops were killed in an airstrike in Syria's Idlib province. It's the deadliest day for the Turkish military since it intervened in Syria back in 2016. The presidents of Turkey and Russia spoke on the phone, trying to ease tensions amid fears of a much wider conflict. We'll get a reaction from Moscow with Julia Chapman in a moment, but let's start with CGTN's Mihar Bardavid in Istanbul. Mihar, what are we hearing from Turkish leaders? Yes, OCA. On Friday, in retaliation, Turkey announced that they had hit over 200 Syrian targets in Idlib from the ground and from the air. There was a statement made by Turkey's defense minister, Hulusi Akar, who stated that Turkish forces had destroyed five Syrian choppers, 23 tanks, 10 armored vehicles, and many other targets in Syria. He also stated that despite warnings after the first strike, that the Syrian army continued their attacks, even targeting ambulances. Akar also stated that there had been no armed groups around the Turkish troops in the area during the time of the attacks. Now, Hulusi Akar also claimed that Turkey had been in communication with Moscow during the time of the attacks on Thursday. Let's listen. Now, on Thursday, also a Russian delegation was in uh, Ankara for the second day. On a Friday, they carried out the third day of talks between the Russian and Turkish delegations in Ankara. And on Friday morning, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan held a phone conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. They are expected to meet on March 5th or 6th. Paul Bardavid, live for us in Istanbul. Thank you so much.